my channel. Let's talk about top 5 supplements which fights H. pylori and not just H. pylori. These supplements can also help you fight any gut related issues. If you are someone who occasionally suffer from gut related problems or digestive issues, these supplements are your lifelong friends. Keep them with you in the kitchen or while you are traveling. They will help you when you least expect them. Number one on my list is Mastic Gum. Mastic Gum is a plant raisin which is known to be grown in Greece somewhere around 2500 years back, probably. I was using Mastic Gum when I was fighting H. pylori. I used to take 3 gram of Mastic Gum on a daily basis. I was using it from the company called Now. Mastic Gum will actually help fight H. pylori and apart from that, it is also known for your dental issues. It, it corrects that if you have plague. It is also known to fight SIBO Candida. You can see the um, results within 4 weeks after using it. Mastic Gum also helps protect your gut lining. Number 2 on my list is Sulforaphane. This is a rich antioxidant which is derived from vegetables like broccoli and cabbage. That's why those people who are not having access to sulforaphane related supplements, they can even go ahead and take cabbage juice early in the morning. My personal favorite is Brocomax from the company called Now. You can find it on Amazon or iTunes. Number three is cranberry. You can either eat cranberries or you can find cranberry supplements or on Amazon or any good site. Just check the good reviews for that. That's all. Cranberry, as we all know, is rich in vitamin C and that is why it helps heal the process faster. Whether you have gastritis, uh, it's a rose serve in nature, you had H. pylori or anything else which basically damaged your gut lining or your intestine, this is going to help heal the process faster because of the rich content of vitamin C. It will fight free radicals. It is going to help in reducing the inflammation. So cranberry number three. Number four on my list is Manuka honey. Manuka honey because this honey is equivalent to an antibiotic in itself. Manuka honey is not your average honey which you will find in the shelf of your supermarket but this honey is actually derived from the manuka shrubs which are known to be grown in New Zealand or regions around that. What I usually do is if I have any stomach issue or let's say I have bloating or I've eaten something bad I will take one cup of water I'll add mint leaves in it I'll boil it I'll strain it out and add one spoon of manuka honey and some amount of lime juice in that. I drink that, I feel amazing, it helps beat bloating. Of course, it helps beat H. pylori infection, good for SIBO, helps in fighting my sugar cravings and it is very good for your digestion. Number five on my list is licorice root extract. Licorice root extract is also known as mulechi in India. We use it, I mean, we use it often um, in Ayurvedic herbs or Ayurvedic concoctions. Licorice root is well known to mankind to produce mucus. It heals your gut lining and your intestine lining because it is producing mucus, which means it is protecting them. Licorice root is also known to be a saver for us because it is a natural acid neutralizer. So you can have licorice root probably 2-3 to three gram in a day if you are in a process of fighting H. pylori or if you have way too much acidity or if you had bad carb junk or fritters, you can always try this. So these are my top 5 supplements but like I said in the beginning, it's not necessary that if you have H. pylori you need to take them. Even if you have any other general gut related issue, you can always try this. I personally keep some of them with me when I travel and they have actually become my best friends. Thank you.